Hi, welcome to my laundry room behind my lab. I'm gonna show you how I prepare my Artemia. This is my setup here. I use Separt Artemia, so it's uh, magnetically coated on the shells. So you, once they hatch, I can use a magnet to pull them out. But this is just a water bath with an air pump, uh, air pump for circulation in the water bath, a heater to heat up the water, about 84, and an airline in with the Artemia hatching. So this is gonna be pretty straightforward. I unclip it and I just pour half of it into these two cups, half into each dish. All right, and then while I'm rinsing this, I take a magnet and I just drop it in. So I'm rinsing this out while the magnet's doing magnet things. I clean out my hatching container like that. I'm gonna walk over to the, I lied to you, filming person. Here, I'm just getting water out of the tank. I don't mix any special water for the Artemia to hatch in. Drop this back in. Boom. And then the Separt. I keep most of it in the freezer, but I keep a couple of weeks worth in here. We drop the airline in right away. I do a full scoop, and I've been pushing it and a half scoop. And then I don't touch that again until tomorrow. So the Artemia, let's see, just leaving it there. Yeah, look, that's all the, the shells. So I just give it a quick rinse, do it again, and you can see, if you come from the top, you can really see them streaming over. Okay, now that's too much, right? Some of that's going to fall back in, because the magnets can only hold so much. And remember, these are just the shells. The Artemia themselves are in there, swim around. Fun. It's kind of like vacuuming them up. I mean, it's fun. It's not fun enough to want to spend 10 minutes doing it every day, but five minutes is kind of fun. And much fewer numbers are sticking, as you can see. When I switch containers. It's our team. I keep them at 84 degrees and they have to be lit as well as they can. That helps with the hatching process. And then I uh, feed them in about 24 hours. But we're over here now. You'll be able to see these um, the shells really move to the magnets. This one's a little harder because it's not quite as deep. But... Quick rinse. They go. We'll do it again. And then we're gonna give this a stir and let it settle. If we look into this cup, we can see more. And I'm going to get rid of them now as they go to the magnet. And I would say that is enough to have pulled out. One more pass here. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. We can put this aside now. And then I have, uh, not this net, that's the wrong net. I can't believe I have things in the wrong place for this. Here's the right net. Well, because I rinse it into the tank, that's why. I should bring it back here every time I rinse it so it's quite ready to go. And then I'm going to pour the hatched Artemia into, into the net. And I'm going to pour the other batch. And that's no cysts. That's all little wigglers. So I'm pretty happy with this. A little bit of um, shell still in there. This is tank water in this container. Give a rinse. A lot of people don't care about rinsing with tank water. But it seems to make a difference to me. Why not? And then I pour them in there. 
And then I have my tank water ready to go and I can rinse the net pretty well. And then what I'm gonna do right now is grab some. It's actually a lot. And we're gonna take them and feed them to the baby corals. So Artemia are a good food for smaller corals. It's not micro food, but it's tiny. And I like it alive and it's very nutritious. And the coral, the baby corals I have are the right age to be able to start eating it. So I'm gonna start adding it to their tank. But I normally feed it to the rest of my tank. It's good for NPS corals, it's good for SPS corals, it could be LPS corals, and the fish like to eat it as well. Traditionally, you get it and you have to decapsulate the Artemia cysts, which means you mix them in some bleach and the capsules come off and then you can hatch them a lot easier. The SEPART system that I'm using takes the cysts and puts some, magnet, some magnetic goo on them. And so once they hatch, you can separate the cysts out with just a magnet. So I think that's a lot more, it's a lot easier and I like to work um, simpler. So you absolutely don't need to have this as a food, but for me with the SEPART, it's super easy. So I'm doing it. All right, if you watch down here, you'll see a nice cloud of Artemia. And the rest of the Artemia that I have, and that'll blow around and hopefully the baby corals are gonna eat it. And the rest of the Artemia, which you can kind of get a good look at now. Oh, look and see, there's more, more stuff, more, more magnetically coated shells to pull out. But the rest of this, it's just gonna get poured into tanks or into my drip feeder in my main reef. So I like it, I think it helps. It's nutritious, it's different, it's alive, and it's not that expensive, and you can do it in something pretty small. So if that's you, get to hatching. All right, so I put some in here, and I put some in here, and then walk with me to the other side of the house to the back of the reef, through the bathroom of joy. This is my auto feeder device. It is a two little fishies reactor that I have repurposed. If you look under here, water comes in through the top. I do it that way so I can visualize how much water is coming in there. I like to be able to see it so I can control it properly. There's an air line that goes into the bottom. It keeps everything stirred up in suspension. And if we look over here, right here where my finger is, is an output that goes to the tank. And this here, this elbow, is an overflow. It's an emergency overflow. So if this outlet gets clogged, because I feed a lot of dry food, so that happens, the water just overflows and goes to the tank that way as well. This top part of the reactor I clearly have um, modified. I wanted the height so I could see everything and so if there was a backup there was space for the water to back up while it was pushing out. But the Artemia or any of the other foods I use, uh, any of the other smaller foods, pellets, all kinds of stuff, you just pour in and then it will dose out to the tank over there through that line. And if we go around the front, you can see it dripping in. There, now it should be in the water. So you can see it. And there's Artemis everywhere. And stuff is eating the Artemis. So Artemis is delicious.